We begin with a terrifying accident in the Bronx. A woman plunged from her bathroom into the basement after the floor in her apartment suddenly gave way. And tenants say the building is a real danger and has several other major issues. I want to use reporter Dan Kraut is live in the high bridge section with more Dan. Joe and Liz, this is terrifying. I spoke with the victim's husband today who right now is still at his wife's bedside in the hospital. I'm going to stand out of the way to show you where this happened right here inside this Bronx apartment building inside the couple's first floor apartment right on the other side of that brick wall. What's left behind is a large hole in their bathroom floor. It's pretty incredible. Her injuries aren't any worse. I couldn't believe it. That's stuff you see on TV and movies and stuff. It's not the movies. It's real life for people living in the high bridge section of the Bronx after the floor collapsed in a family's first floor apartment. We spoke on the phone with the victim's husband who was inside when it happened. Ella fue al baño. He told us in Spanish his 28 year old wife walked in to use the bathroom and the floor just collapsed, sending her down into the cellar below, leaving a two by four foot hole behind. The city says a lack of proper maintenance was a factor in the collapse. El corazón, he says his wife's conscious, but still under observation for heart issues. You weren't surprised when she fell through the floor? No, I'm not surprised. We talked to a half dozen tenants who live in a six story building on Shakespeare Avenue and have experienced repeated maintenance issues. Your ceiling fell in here twice? Twice. He's fell in over here from upstairs. They say they fix, but I not believe they fix it. And look at what kind of repair they do it. Tenant Manuel Bailly says he had to buy his own supplies to make his own repairs. That's the condition we leave it over here. They don't care. They don't care about repair. They don't care about nothing. The building has had more than 30 complaints and violations over its long history. Everything from bricks falling from the building to elevator outages. When I reached out to the property management company this afternoon, hello, the woman who answered told me the manager's taking care of it oh. and then hung up the phone. The building owner now has until tomorrow to hire a structural engineer to report exactly what went wrong and how it's going to be fixed. Once the victim is released from the hospital, she cannot return home. No one is allowed inside this apartment until the city signs off on all that repair work that still needs to be done.